Is there anything else? of Coining with Kate, I wanted to talk a little bit more in depth on surgical technology and why I think surgical technology and medical coding are quite similar in their concepts, the information they deal with, etc. In my previous video, the part one of shadowing a surgical technologist, I didn't really go as in depth as I wanted to because I really didn't want that video to be so long. So I thought today I could go a little bit more in depth on it, what my feelings are about that, how they're connected, why I think they pair very well. So with surgical technology, the surgical technologist is there to set up the OR, set up the sterile field, get all the instruments and tools and things where they need to go, get everything prepped. And while the surgery happens, they are there to hand the tools to the surgeon. And what's interesting is the surgical technologist is supposed to or should know almost every step of a procedure so they can anticipate what the surgeon will need as the procedure goes on. So the surgical technologist will know that certain steps happen in a certain order, so they are there to know this step is going to happen next, the surgeon will need this tool, have it ready in their hand to pass off when the surgeon needs it, before the surgeon even has to ask them for it. So knowing those surgeries and the steps and the tools is key to being a su successful surgical technologist. That's what I've learned from those surgical tech tips videos and I think that is a very important part of why it connects to coding. Now with medical coding, in the inpatient setting or when you are using the PCS code book specifically, you are reading these op reports of these surgeries, seeing, reading, every single step, tools that they use, etc. and you have to visualize what that all looks like or you have to watch a video to get that visualization that you need to understand what this surgery, what this text actually looks, actually looks like in real life in a 3D setting. And when you are a surgical technologist, you are right there watching these procedures as they are happening, or at least a similar technique or a generalized style of a procedure you might be coding when you're on the coding job. So being able to know all of these procedures, know all of the steps, what it actually looks like, know the tools that are used, how they are used, how that can help you infer what is happening in the procedure. So when you are coding those procedures, you'll already have a visual reference and a physical reference to what all that looks like. So you will know what these tools are, what the steps are, what it looks like, and you will have a much better idea and a better handle on how to code the procedures. So you'll know what is integral, meaning what does not need to be coded, what is already captured in the main code, what is not integral, meaning I need to code it, I need to assign a code for it, and also what steps these procedures are so you know what the approach is, what the root operation is. With all of these codes, what the sequencing should be, because you'll already know what is the main code, the main procedure, what was more complex, and then what was more ancillary and should come second or third. So you have these two. One is very physical and visual. The other is very informational? Two-dimensional? I'm not really sure, but they go hand in hand because they are almost like the same thing. In my head, that's really what it is. You have the coder who is reading the text, translating it into code, and then you have the surgical technologist who is watching the procedures and understands what the procedures look like and how they are performed. So if you are both a surgical technologist and a medical coder, it's going to be 
very easy for you to translate those op reports because you're learning and seeing them in real life on the job in the OR as a surgical tech. Hopefully that makes sense. But in my head, that's what I was thinking about when I was watching the surgical tech videos. I'm like, oh, this would be very helpful for me as a medical coder because I'm a very visual and kinesthetic learner. So for me to understand what these op reports are saying, because I don't do that well with reading text and knowing immediately what it looks like, how it works, etc. I need a 3D model or I need to work out the process with my hands with a 3D model or a visual. I would be able to see those procedures, that physical procedure on the job and help me understand all of those op reports that I would be coding. That is my reasoning behind why I think they are well connected, why they go so well together, and if you are the type of person that is a visual or kinesthetic learner who is in medical coding but wants more physical interaction with these op reports, procedures, etc. Maybe you should look into surgical technology or at least get in contact with surgical technologists to pick their brain, shadow them, or if the hospital is okay with it, observing some of the procedures that you have difficulty coding. So then you can actually see it because you might not have video to find online and it might be easier to at least have a conversation about it with a surgical technologist. If you have questions, post them in the comments below. Also, subscribe to this channel so you can get notifications on all the videos that I post so you're always in the know. At the moment, the channel is a little bit scattered with what we're covering. Not doing so much of coding, but there are medical coding videos there and there might be some in the future. There's also going to be updates on the shadowing of a surgical technologist, so keep an eye out for that so you can see how all of that works out. And then also like this video if you like the fact that I went more in depth on how I think surgical technology and medical coding are somewhat connected or overlap very nicely and why I think they go well together. And I'll see y'all later. Bye!